This film covers a wide range of news items. The film covers news on various topics such as XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and more. You can relax now that we have set the price and are brewing the ETF. Unwind, and let's get started. Bitcoin $61,200 at 2740, it's up 3.9%, or almost 4%, over the last 24 hours on Ethereum. Both USDT and USDC have decreased. People, let's return to the 99 cent pegs. It's supposed to be 58 cents here, or 0 0.579. It indicated a slight increase in life of 67% over the last 24 hours, but it's actually down 45%. If we perform some quick algebra, though, it should be up. It's not significant, but overall, it's up there. With cryptocurrencies market capitalization at $2 trillion, where do we go from here? Here, everything seems to be quite straightforward. I believe that Bitcoin is currently trading in a single, huge range and that all of us are idly watching and waiting for it to surge past that. $74,000 mark this occurs during periods of choppiness and bear markets for both the WS and the Y stocks. The market is ready for significant volatility, marking the end of this period. When we reach the first stop in, which is not 90,000, the market will undoubtedly surge, and the upward trend will continue beyond that point. Bitcoin will continue to rise until it reaches its ultimate exponential peak, between 150 and 225,000. There will be 4.5 to 5 trillion cryptocurrencies in circulation. After 2025, when we all start making life-changing profits, more money will come in and rotate into our precious coins. I just can't seem to win. I am aware that you can this breaking news alert has begun to sound. Alarms sound like sirens. Wealthy father, poor father he believes there will be the worst market crash in history. It's not favorable. To be clear, I don't want anyone to forecast a market meltdown, and I also don't want one. In the markets, I made a substantial profit. Made money in the cryptocurrency space. I have money in the stock market, and I don't want to appear bad. You seem interested in discussing a correction. A correction is distinct. While I don't wish for a crash following a collision, a broader perspective reveals that the S&P is consistently rising, despite occasional crashes every 10 to 10 years. I don't worry, because the money from my retirement and stock investments will remain intact for a long time, at least 10 to 20 years, and I will use it in the same way. When markets are down, I use the same tactic with cryptocurrency, I increase my positions. Reduce my D-level assignment gauge, since that's when we prepare for the next big bang. RIP I just made a huge profit. Just look at how easy it is, and don't forget to participate. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have a live stream where you can see the lovely woman in person. He has the camera turned on, and I also have a call-in line that anyone can use. The show asks me questions in real time, and we discuss a wide range of topics, from the news to the charts to the world of cryptocurrency. Yes, people, it's a beautiful thing. The proposal concluded with several plan changes intended to update the Ethereum virtual machine. This programming environment runs smart contracts on the blockchain and evolves industry standards in and of themselves. Ethereum is reportedly planning to overhaul key programming standards with the EVM object format. Recall the Ripple will also use the Ethereum virtual machine, EVM, according to the new EVM object. There is nothing wrong with the format suggestion other than the fact that several developers expressed concern about the risk of implementing the de facto industry standard Ethereum virtual machine. As you can see, Ethereum virtual machines will undergo a minor makeover, which we'll refer to as a facelift, because the benefits of the original ideas were not justified. Not bad, huh? Then, we learn that Ethereum's price is expected to rise by 75% to $47.50. Why is that the query? This is the chart, scroll down to see what we're looking at. It even scrolls downward. It also functions as a state cryptographic analyzer. Blockchain Gallo recently declared that he was confident that Bitcoin had reached its peak. 
Yes, you heard correctly, BTC has reached its peak. Although we haven't reached an all-time high, we typically see 12 months of exponential growth after the introduction of Bitcoin. That's all, folks. He believes that Bitcoin has reached its peak and that money will now go to Ethereum. Now, allow me to share two predictions with you. Ethereum will rise, and it will likely rise between 8 and 12,000 per cycle, possibly 8 to 10, on this insane parabolic push-up, I think you might see 12. We reach 5,000, or quite rapidly. After that, there is some rest. However, the second thing I can guarantee is this, is it the driving force behind the current bull cycle? The current bull cycle is not yet complete, nor has it even begun. The supremacy of Bitcoin is still there. While Bitcoin hasn't driven investors out of this market, it hasn't reached its absurd parabolic blow-up peak either. For the first time, we broke an all-time high. Before the involvement of institutions and the introduction of ETFs, we had never seen anything like that. As a result, we witnessed the infusion of institutional money into the markets, which was buying up Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies like crazy. Bitcoin's record high was not broken. What happened a few months after Bitcoin reached its new parabolic peak? It launched it into the air and propelled it toward new heights. Although we haven't seen it yet, we will. Previously, although it wasn't significant, we witnessed an all-time high, however, we haven't witnessed the parabolic move or the blow-off top that, trust me, is coming this year. The fact that this year is almost over indicates that it will occur shortly. You have seen how quickly the markets may decline. People should react as swiftly to positive developments as they did to negative ones. For the first time in history, we have entered a massive bull cycle in cryptocurrencies with institutions actively participating. When we involve institutions, we have access to a vast amount of money. As soon as the market begins to move and the institutions are prepared to invest, it's time to buckle up and prepare for an experience unlike anything you've ever had before. This is significant. You want to see this adoption because these games will attract people who are unaware of cryptocurrency. Like, Crypto.com, what is it? I've been hearing about Ethereum, a Bitcoin-like platform. The Ripple vs. STC lawsuit, which I've been hearing about, revolves around cryptocurrencies. Once they start their research, they ask anyone with a basic understanding of cryptocurrencies to conduct a simple price comparison between the past and present. Will anyone buy cryptocurrency at this time? I'm not suggesting that they're going to buy a significant amount of cryptocurrency. You want to know, therefore, I'm suggesting they purchase cryptocurrency. What comes to mind when you first think about it? The mind is a terrible place. This thing has multiplied 600 times, or 6,000 times, in less than 10 years, and they are still researching, purchasing, mentally calculating, and doing calculations to see if they should invest this much money. And I completed a 600% or 600% after letting it sit for 10 years. How much money will I have? Is followed by more detail. Going deeper sounds familiar, right? That's because you and I did the same thing when we entered the cryptocurrency market. That much is almost certain, and after that, we have this XRP future. Agreements submitted under the CFTCC we are going to talk more about this. In the second video, I only want to flirt and give a little tease. This is the initial step towards an XRP ETF in the market. Alright, everyone. Let me reverse. The ripple is the first step towards an XRP ETF. The first stage is to sign the lawsuit form and provide the SEC with 125 million. After the SEC signs and accepts the money, the matter is over. This is the second stage of an XRP futures contract. An XRP ETF is the third phase. When institutional funding enters the market in 2025, we expect this to explode. Just as XRP is ready to reach its pinnacle and begin its parabolic push to the top, fascinating times are ahead as we enter double-digit territory. Hey everyone, $5 changes on XRP. My life has transformed everyone around me, and I eagerly anticipate the conclusion of this cycle, folks, it's about to happen shortly. 
Arriving, I can confidently predict that at this point, you'll say, I wish I had bought more.